Mind Mop is probably one of my favorite mapping tools that's available for Google Drive. Um, it uh, is free. There's a paid version, but the free version seems to suit our students quite well, and so we'll get right to it. To start a Mind Mop, I have it as a new ad app for Google Drive. So it's Mind Mop 2.0. We'll launch that. And when we launch it, uh, our single topic will appear. In the middle, I can press space, type in some really important information like topic. With it selected, I can still hit tab and come up with an idea. I can go back, select tab again, and do another idea. And so you can say, and that's idea, that's even better. So we can see that we still have the great, same great functionality. What's new, and I don't remember, it's been about three, four weeks, you're now able to add a root node which a root node is the same as this one so now we can have uh, topic 2 and we can drag that around and of course just like ever we can start with idea 2 and you get the eye you get the situation what we've been able to do is looking at uh, the brain frames concept I've been able to use this additional root node to create a compare and contrast an event or opinion, categorization, which always seems to float near the top of the world, relationships, sequencing. And so with the new version of MindMump, or the improvements to MindMump, well, it gives us a lot more potential to support the writing needs of students. On to uh, a MindMump that uh, my friends and I created earlier today. We create, again, a, a topic, uh, telling, I believe is the proper word, a telling uh, brain frame. And, of course, we can always export it or download it as an outline so that we can open it up in Google Docs. Same great options in terms of Google Writer. I still kind of like tab indented text, but some people like Google Writer, and we can have bullet points. And if I export it, so that we'll do Google Writer and bullet points and see how that looks. We export it, it goes up to the MindMup site. Uh, we want to upload it to Drive because that's necessary, and I named it. have to name it to upload it, and now it resides in your Google Drive. If I want to open it, I can open it directly into Google Docs. Now what we have here is a viewer, which is new. Uh, I just select at the top. It opens in Google Docs and my students have an organized plan to begin writing about uh, weekend plans. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to wax a floor in the basement. Pretty excited about that. I spent, spent all last week painting, but this is what I do when I'm not mind mupping. So that's it. Those are the new uh, features of mind mup and one that you really will want to take advantage of.